right, we are in the uh, Pat Mooney showroom, and today we're going to be going over how to operate a PMI 20. Uh, behind us, PMI 20. Um, first thing you're going to do when you do get a saw is you're going to install your blade. There's the uh, blade housing underneath the work table. When you do install the blade, you need to make sure the blade is installed going the correct direction so your teeth are pulling the material. Essentially, that's the way to look at it towards the back fence. There is a spindle lock on the spindle to uh, assist with changing the saw blade. And then you'll also need to check rotation. You know, when the machine is first powered on to make sure that the saw blade is spinning the uh, correct direction. So you just saw saw head rotation on this model is manual. And we have pin locations at a lot of your common angles, 22 and a half, 30 degrees, 45 degrees. But you do see there is a nice uh, degree scale for any other odd angles. And you do have a handle over here at any angle to lock the entire turntable in place. Your vertical clamp can be adjusted for height. So if your material is shorter and you don't want the guard to do the full travel, you can turn your air off using the switch that I turned just did, and that'll kill your air to the machine. And then to, that drops your stopper. And then to set it in the correct position. And then again, turn the air back on. And you do when you cycle the saw, you do need to make sure that this sensor here, this metal here is coming off the sensor. If the sensor sees metal, it won't let the machine cycle. So you always need to make sure you have enough of a gap that the sensor is coming off the metal when it closes. The horizontal clamps do have adjustment as well. So you've got bolts on either side so you can slide the clamps in or out. You've got clamps or bolts on the back side so you can open these clamps up wider for wider material. You also can slide these fences in closer to the uh, to the top clamp. Uh, machine has adjustability just if you're doing different size profiles. If you need to do anything custom with custom jigs, you do have that ability to to move the clamps in and out to, to meet whatever uh, possible possible for your application. Um, control panel is all right here. So you've got your saw motor on, stop saw motor, key stop, your two buttons to activate the saw cycle. And in order to run the machine, you do need to have this door closed. So that's why nothing was cycling there. We didn't have the door closed. So with the door closed, you can activate the machine and that'll cycle it through. Again, turn the motor on. And it is a situation that if you, that essentially right there acts as an e-stop so the top clamp will stay closed. The way you clear it is by hitting the e-stop, that'll clear it. This is your feed rate control. So this here, it's an arable oil feed system. So you use this valve right here to adjust how fast the head's coming up. So it's a fixed saw blade speed because this machine's for cutting aluminum or other non fair So you don't need to adjust your blade speed. You can just adjust your feed rate right here using that knob. And that'll adjust how fast the saw head's coming up through the cup. On this side of the machine is your uh, blade uh, mist lubrication system. So this here is for your air flow, and this is for how much coolant you're actually applying into the airline. So this you want to have open, and then this you'd actually the best way to do it is to have it closed and then slowly open it up. 
and you'll see your drip rate right here. Cutting light walled aluminum, you want one drop every like three to six seconds, you know, because if you're on a little bit heavier wall, you'd want to be three seconds, a little bit lighter wall, you'd be closer to six seconds. And you fill this uh, system by removing that cap right there. Machine is meant to have a uh, chip collection system, and there is actually a separate electrical connection. Um, you know, if you can have an electrician wire that into your chip collector, um, and then that way when you turn the saw motor on, the chip collector motor will turn on as well. There are two ports where you're going to connect your flex hose, one here, and then one on that saw blade enclosure we showed earlier. You do have um, adjustable clamping pressure. That'd be one last thing we want to show you. Top side of the machine. So that is where you will adjust your pressure. And uh, that's it for the uh, the PMI 20. If you have any questions, let us know.